the world's first mass-produced training aircraft, the Avro 504, from my all-time favourite aircraft builder. After all, I am a Lancashire lad. Safe and easy to handle, the modest but much-loved Avro 504 was the machine in which many thousands of pilots learned to fly in the wire and fabric era. Developed from the smaller Avro 500, the 504 was pleasantly proportioned. Two-seat biplane initially, with a square cowling around its 80 horsepower engine, it had a distinctive Korma shaped rudder and an ingeniously simple undercarriage with a long toothpick central skid. When the aircraft made its debut in July 1913, British pioneer Elliot Verdon Raw was still struggling to establish his Avro aircraft company. The 504 changed his fortunes for the better. It quickly gained popularity and over 10,000 were eventually built using a number of different engines. Both the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Naval Air Service sent the 504 into action in the early stages of World War I. Its role included reconnaissance and bombing. Three 504s damaged the Zeppelin works at Frederick Schaffin, Schaffin in a daring raid on November the 21st, 1914. However, the aircraft was soon recognised as being more suitable as a military trainer. After the war, many 504Ks were turned to civilian use. Countless members of the public had their first experience of flight in the type, taken up for joy rides by pleasure flight operators. In its later 504N version, the aircraft continued to serve as a military trainer into the mid-1930s. And even though it isn't a de Havilland, I'm actually just looking now at the actual struts and it looks so much like a tiger moth with the actual struts, how thick they are. I can tell where de Havilland would have got the inspiration now. Specifications. Power plant, 504K, one 100 horsepower, a line one, rotary engine, and that's right, I didn't pronounce that right. Wingspan, 36 feet, wing area, 330 square feet, length, 29 feet, 5 inches. Gross weight, 1,829 pounds. Cruising speed, 120 kilometres, or 75 miles per hour. Range, and this really did shock me, 402 kilometres, or 250 miles. Accommodation, two crew, and first flight, July 1913.